1954, when the pioneer class assembled for the first time, Jean Porter, with her beautiful smile, stood tall among us. Today, as we celebrate the 60th anniversary of Fontbonne Academy, Jean Porter Falvey now stands tall among all the alumni as the alumna honoree. When I addressed the graduating class of 2008, I described the ideal alumna as one who comes back often and gives back generously in whatever way possible. Jean has come back so often and has found very unique ways to give back generously. Jean has infused her giving with a pioneer spirit. As we all know, a true pioneer is one who goes before into that which is unknown or untried to prepare the way for others. I first met Jean Falvey in 2008. Her class, class of 58, was celebrating its 50th anniversary, Fontbonne's first class to celebrate 50th anniversary. They wanted to give the school a gift. Jean took a leadership in raising the funds and challenging her classmates for that gift. When the president asked me what would I suggest for the gift, I said, a making the school wireless. Uh, certainly, uh, we would be one of the first schools, and we were one of the first schools to, to have a Catholic uh, high schools to have the wireless environment. And it allowed us time to do the research we needed to do, to educate ourselves as a community, educate our faculty. And then in 20, launch in 2013, our one-on-one -on -one iPad initiative. And it wasn't too many years later when Jean came to Fontbonne with Father Leo, a priest from Tanzania that had been living in her parish while studying at Boston. And together they shared a passion for the education of young women. And Father Leo told her about the school that he was dreaming to build for poor young girls in Tanzania. And before I knew it, Father Leo and Jean found their way to Fontbonne and into our teacher's lunchroom where they shared their common vision. And Jean was holding out Fontbonne as a model school for him. So I first learned of Jean Falvey in the spring of 2012 when I began working at Fontbonne and I learned of our partnership and pen pal program with St. Clair Baharamulo School in Tanzania. I met her in person the following spring when we were setting up arrangements to have students from Tanzania come to visit the school. And she and I were speaking about the Pen Pals and how the Pen Pal program had been going and which students from Tanzania were connected with Pen Pals here in, in, at Fontbonne Academy. So the most amazing thing is that Jean has made this great connection for us. And to me, that's what helps open our students up to the global realities of the needs of those all throughout the world. And Fun Fun Women get it. It's all about others, the dear neighbor, and reaching out to help that neighbor whenever the neighbor's in need. Um, and for Jean Falvey, it's so apparent that she lives this way. Whether it's the neighbor who she volunteers with when she's in her parish, or if it's the neighbor on the other side of the world in Tanzania. And thank you for your good, generous, and grateful heart for giving back to Fonfon and to so many others and for showing us what it means to be a Fonfon woman and living out her mission ways. Jean, you are a witness to all of us, but especially to alums, of what is possible with a large heart that lives the mission of love of every dear neighbor. You help us to dwell in possibility. Thank you. 
Jean, thank you so much for all that you've done for Bon Bon and the way that you model to our current young women what it means to be a woman of wisdom, a woman of courage, and a woman of excellence and a woman who reaches out to those in our global community. Congratulations on being a 60th anniversary honoree.